Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to answer a viewer question. I had a question regarding setting up a parking macro, and so I just want to show you how I do this, and then maybe some other resources you can look at for some help. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. I want to thank PCBWay for sponsoring the Minimal 3DP channel on this video in particular. So this is a view of my Mercury 1.1. And as you can see, I have it parked in the back right corner. Now, if we look over here at Mainsail, you'll see right in this area and home the printer. So you simply want to home your printer. We're going to let this home. Now, to find the position, I just use the controls to move the printer around. So I'm going to set this at 50 and move it towards the back. And I'm basically going to move it all the way back till I hit and probably need to switch over to 10. So right now I'm as far back as it'll go. So that's at 365. Now let's jog it up a little bit. And just to get it to that 350, because I wanted it as far back as possible. Now that would represent my Y. So literally you just, home the printer, and then find the, posi the Y position you want to park at. Next, I find the X position. So I'm going to just hit, let me bump this up to 25 so it goes a little quicker. So I'm just jogging the print head around. Now you can see it's almost at zero here, and I'm just going to because I like nice round numbers. So that's how I found my park position. So what's important is you just use the controls here in Clipper and either in Mainsail or Fluid to move your print head to where you want it. Now in our next step, what I do is I use various macros to use this park position. Now, I personally use JShrew's macros, and I've done a video on this in the past, and I'll put a link above for you to take a look at. Now, I'm just noticing that as I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm actually pointing up as if you're looking at my face, or basically, I guess today I'm losing my sanity. So anyway, let me reel it back in. So that's one way you can use this. Now, the way this code works is there some setup code that you need to put in your printer.config once you install these. And if I go over to my printer.config, here's that code, and I've customized it. And then right in here, I have the park variables, and I've set that. So it's currently parked at 350 for Y and 10 for X. So again, that represents when we look at the, it's 10 millimeters away from the left hand side and it's all the way in the back at 350. So that's how I do park on this printer. Now there are several other ways to generate a park command. You can put it in your M20, you can use a pause and specify an XY. The other thing you can do is there are several other sources of macros for you to take a look at. And let me show you those. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is an awesome service that lets you design and then they build for you PCB boards. One of their awesome features is you can go to their instant quote, you can upload a Gerber file, and then based on the parameters you put in, they'll give you an instant quote. If you go over to Elias's print tuning guide, which I think I'm going to do a bigger video just about this site because I find myself using it more and more here lately. He has a whole section on parking macros and they're all pretty cool because they 
have how to set up different positions. And basically these are being read based on how you have your configuration of your printer. So you don't need to go in there and figure out a size of your print bed. It's just pulling it from how you have it configured in your printer.config. And you have usually your max and min X and Y set up with your steppers. So it's literally just pulling from there. But you have a macro for parking in the front, park in the front low, park in the rear, park in the uh, different spots, parking in the center. So I would take a look at these macros. That's another good source. Now, lastly, I just found these today as I was looking around and, and looking for different source material. I found this site, which is a Clipper Macro Generator by Gab 3D. And this seems sort of interesting. And there are several available macros here. And if I click, here's one for parking at the center rear. So again, this is pulling from the pulling from the steppers. So it's looking at your stepper um, max and min that you've already set. And then using this to calculate where the center rear is and park there. So there's several different examples. Now there's some other functionality here that I haven't had a chance to do a deep dive into, but I probably will. Here's park center front. Again, it's this code is already generated, so you can look at this. Now you might not want to just cut and paste this into your um, printer.config, but this gives you a, a place to start and some code to look at so you can figure out how to build your own pause or park macro. Now, hopefully this helps. If anybody has any other sources of great macros, I'd love to see them. Please feel free to share. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to reach out. I ended too quickly there. I probably should have mentioned that I'm going to post all these links in the video description. So hopefully that'll help. I want to make sure to give credit to the awesome people that put all this stuff together. Um, because again, everything I do, I, I usually learn from looking at how others put things together. So again, hopefully that helps and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. This is Mike again. If you're having trouble with your 3D printer, I'm putting a link in the video description of how you can schedule a 15 minute consult with me. I'm more than happy to sit down with you, see if we can figure out what the problem is, see if we can get your printer rolling. Also, if you would like to support the channel, I've enabled memberships. And so for a small monthly contribution, you can help support my work. Now, ideally, what I'm going to do is use any money and same for the advertising I get for the channel. I'm going to use that to buy more 3D printers and more equipment and more technology that I could use here on the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.